Welcome guys to another YouTube video here in the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Star Wars The Black Series Mandalorian Best Guard Armor. This is the one I told you guys about a few videos ago. Um, I, I got I got this one from the Disney shop. They're, they're now having them so I'm not sure if they're sold out yet or not but I'm assuming they are. I barely got mine shipped like a week ago and today I got in the mail from FedEx so it, it was really nice that it came. This is the first figure I've gotten in the new package style wave. So it, it looks really awesome, honestly. Uh, we're, let, first, let's compare before we open it up. Let's compare to the previous styled packaging and to see how big it is and everything. So that's them compared together. They're pretty aligned, I would say, to the... I mean, in terms of width, if you want to count that actual width then it is pretty much the same but other than that you're seeing differences here that this goes more inward than than that it's basically like this corner is cut off so that's a real real nice look at the packaging there it's really really different yep and now the photo is sort of it's not in the background it sort of has its own style to it and it's also really like matte it feels really nice I, I mean i know this one's matte because it was in the graming gate series but this one's really matte on its own so it's really really nice packaging too so that's that's the main key difference like right here you would see that even though this is the gaming grades and you see the blue here you would see that the that is completely gone and it changes with the silhouette of the picture instead. Now you have a figure here and that there. So yeah, that's in comparison with the with the actual packaging. And uh, I was debating whether if I should do the unboxing or if I should just skip ahead to when I have it open, but no one has complained so far. So uh, let's just get into the unboxing. If you guys mind the unboxing and you think it takes a little bit too long because that's what I have noticed, then let me know down in the comments if you guys see this video or if you guys like it. So there, there, it's a little weird though because I'm not sure which way I should open it. This way because there's an opening now where you can open it from here, I guess. Or if I should open it this way. I mean, it's a little wonky, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and open it the old way so that way we can really see how this is like so let's make a cut right here and the cut right here it's a little hard to get to honestly now i have pre-ordered the heavy infantry mandalorian and the new styled vintage packaging and Dark Nahelius should be coming within the month. So those, those, both of those figures should be coming. But there's another figure I didn't expect I would be able to order. And that was Cad Bane, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So I, I ordered him already. And he should be shipping soon, hopefully. So that's another, wow. Like I, I took this whole thing off. And it's like I removed this whole layer of packaging yeah that's weird that's pretty cool too i guess and that is its own separate thing so yeah. that uh, here we have the main figure yep that's how much it goes up to so let's remove the weapons and accessories first We'll get a better look at them afterwards. That's that's what I noticed. I went in the other videos. I went a little back on both of them. So this one I don't want to waste too much time by doing it double. So let's get all this stuff out of the packaging first. Wow. 
it does it, it is unfortunate that again the the cloak is plastic but I, I was expected honestly uh there's this new supposed uh there's this new supposed or what do you what would you call it the bundle there's this new bundle coming out that would be coming with more accessories for uh the mandalorian so it, it's it's gonna be pretty cool but i'm not sure if i'll get it now that i have this mandalorian but i think i will just just to show you guys i think it'll be nice so okay first of all we have pretty cool skulls we have even that end emblem from the ending scene there that is really really cool we have that that I do have some figures I'll compare him to in a bit, so I'm just getting first glimpses at him. And then it seems like that's, I mean, I mean, it has basically the same thing, so you can plug a jetpack in. All right, um, first let's see accessories, to Mac M, so we can get that out of the way. So the pistol is way different than the first one. I mean, it's the same sculpt, but it's the, it's completely different in terms of weathering. This one's way more shinier than the other one. The other one was way more darker and blacker. I guess. I think I have it right here to show you guys. Yep, I think. So in terms of comparison here, both of those. Yeah way different i don't know which one i like best if i'm being honest wait did i paint this i think i did paint it i'm not sure but i left this for sure so that's that's way different i think the only yeah that's i'm not sure which one i like best i guess this one for the mandalorian since it's shiny but i'm not sure but anyways uh that that's there's that one and then here's the blast this is basically the same rifle as in the last mandalorian it came with again just with a shiny touch-up I kind of like the old look of it though, since it was a little more weathered and dirty. But this one's still pretty good. And it has that and that. And the jetpack, I didn't expect it for it to be this dark. I really thought it was going to be a little more shiny to complement the Mandalorian. But then I'm, again, I'm not completely surprised. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but it, it's pretty cool. Then I, I've seen people be able to stick up... Uh, flames in this these little holes but it's it's pretty cool honestly so yeah not a lot of detail at all in that though and for the mandalorian all right for uh, i th okay let's get yeah, let's do uh, articulation let's start in the head the head can go all the way apparently and can go just a little bit up sort of like this old one yeah like the first release it can only go up and down just a bit and can't really move it could tilt too at the sides but can't really go up all the way for body it can go just a little bit of a swivel not too much not over the crazy top because it does have that belt and you could go forward i mean considering he has the belt it kind of surprises me that he has this much articulation if i'm being honest but it's a pretty good amount honestly for hand it goes all the way up it sort of wants to go upward like that but it can't be well it could it could because of the the shoulder piece it's sort of like made so that way you could uh make it go up on the little piece like that if you wanted to so i guess that's pretty cool and it does bend there at the elbow and i'm not sure if the gauntlet moves no the gauntlet does not move the hand does go inward like that and it can go all the way in out it could go a 360 like that and yeah and they're pretty cool though there is some weathering in here, but I'm not sure if that's just my figure or not. But if that's just, yeah. Uh, let's get a nice look at the emblem, though. It looks pretty cool, honestly. I would have liked for the Mandalorian to be a little bit more weathered, or just like how we saw at the end, but 
in the new promo images that we've seen, he does go back to the shiny look. So it's not like that the wear interior stays there. So for legs, he goes honestly higher than the last one, I think. He does lift his leg up higher and does seem like he takes it out more too. So that's pretty cool. He has a double jointed knee. And it seems like he does have a tilt on the foot. And it can go up and down. It does seem like these are new sculpts of the, the armor, which, well, I'm not really surprised because the whole armor is new, but um, I thought it was a little bit similar to the old one, but I'm not sure. This one to me is still weird. I'm not sure why would he keep this piece and make it sort of best card, but sort of red. I don't know. That's just me nitpicking the series, but um, the gauntlets are for sure new. And oh, in terms of, uh, let's see, get this cape off. I'm not really sure how to get it off, but I think it will be better if you're supposed to. So that way you can put the jetpack on. I'm having a little trouble. Okay, no, got it. And this one he looks without the jetpack. I mean, without the cape on. And in order to play it in, you just align it with the holes. Get it in there. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it goes all the way in, but a decent amount so it can like that. And then, yeah. That's how it looks like on the figure. I'm not sure if it's me, but it looks a little bit disproportioned, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's just me or not, but I, w I would say it looks pretty good on him, though. Again, I wish it would have been a cloth, so that way it could have... I've seen people try putting it with the cape on, and it looks really weird, so I'm not going to really try that. I'm sure, sure some of you guys have seen that, too. It looks really awesome, though. And uh, in terms of the, hold on, let's put the cape back on so he won't look completely naked. In terms of the gun, you can still holster that in the back too. It's a little, why does it feel a little harder to put than the jetpack though? Okay. I guess like that I guess you put it like that but yeah it goes in the same holes that you just have to align it and I'm not gonna lie it looks a little weird I'm not sure the last one was like that too but okay never mind it looks sort of aligned I'm not sure it's a little weird but again that's there's the Mandalorian for you and let's put his gun in his holster not there one there goes the rifle it's a little weird to play it in there but it I mean it's a good way of doing it but weird okay well that the, the rifle fell so that's, I wouldn't say that's the most secured way of doing it because I'm sort of in a, I don't really want to waste time that time. But um, in terms of size comparison, let's bring out some of the other figures. He won't really stand good in the table, but I'll just, okay, yeah, he did it, okay. In comparison, here we have Captain Rex in terms of height, standing with him. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold his feet down, but I guess they stand basically, I guess, at the same height. Yeah, they're about the same height, for sure. And here we have, well, it, well it, it's the original Mandalorian, but I I use, I, I, cust I use this body to customize him as my pre Vizsla mod. I've ser I'm pretty sure some of you guys, for those who subscribe and still are seeing this, I did post him and I, I did feature him in one of the episodes where I was reviewing Jango Fett, I think. And, uh, no, 
one. I'm trying to fix them up for you guys. And uh, yeah, I did customize him to look like Previsla. So this is basically the old Mandalorian standing next to the new best car version. There's no way of getting a good shot, I guess. Okay. I I am seeing that the helmets are different though. Not because I'm modded it, but it does look like I don't know, I kinda wanna say that in a way this one looks a little smaller, but I'm not I'm not really sure. The armor plates are different. The gauntlets are way different. You can see these go way more upward, sort of in an angle, and this one are just these are just uh straight so yeah there's a lot of differences obviously because i customized him but there's him standing with him i want to say this one's a little bit taller is my model a little bit taller it looks like yeah i don't know i kind of want to say yes but i kind of want to say no but yeah those are them standing together and yeah i want to say that's pretty much about it there's not a whole lot to him uh other than the stuff we've already seen. He is pretty cool though. I, I would say if you're able to pick him up, you should definitely do it because he's worth it. But, and it's great that I was able to get him before the show came out because I would have really wanted him to, to have him when it does so that it was really convenient. And uh, yeah, uh, like I told you guys, I am going to be getting Cad Bane soon. So if you want to see that review, please subscribe. So you can check out that review um there was the one i purchased was the actual purchase i don't have to like i'm sorry it's not a pre-order like uh some of the one other ones that went down because it was from a hasbro pulse exclusive and that one comes with cad bane and uh i forgot his joy's name but he comes with his droid and uh, that was for purchase and some people are already getting it shipped so i should be getting it shipped too eventually so i want to say in the next one a week or two weeks i should be getting an email and it should be arriving soon and after that i will be getting dark nihilius and after dark nihilius i should be getting the heavy infantry mandalorian that's supposed to be like a new mode not a new mode but new paint job and it comes with a credit chip but so yeah i'm sure some of you guys have seen photos of them so if you guys want to see the reviews please subscribe and if you jo enjoyed the review um so yeah subscribe it helps the, the channel grow and uh it gives me the opportunity to know if you guys enjoy these videos or not so i can continue doing them or if not and uh yeah i'm enjoying uh, i would be happy to see what you guys think of the of the, the review down below in the comments and if, if you don't want to comment just like i don't know uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one bye